Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra. These are your lessons that you need to be aware of because they are going to help you to navigate your way through 2021 and beyond. I've also included some messages of advice and guidance. So let us begin up here um, with the first lesson. And this one would have already been made evident, but it may not have been embraced uh, or learned yet. So they're pointing this out to you. Progress can't be made until this lesson has been addressed and dealt with. Let's see what it is. It is doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. It is impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe. You are only consciously aware of the three dimensions for a reason, and that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit. Everyone has his or her own personal path to this awareness, and there's no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and compassion. The wisdom of the divine trickles into the physical dimension, and some of it will resonate with your soul, and some will not. Now, these are your signposts that guide you to your correct path. So if the wisdom resonates with you and it seems right, then keep it. And if not, release it back into the universe. Always be aware and mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers put on your path. Do not doubt in them. Do not doubt in your intuition. So this next message here is um, is your current energy uh, and you know whether you're aware of it or not and it is very significant because if uh, if you're not prepared for this lesson it could prove to be a stumbling block impeding your progress and it is imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So why is this here? Well, by its very nature, the physical body is limited by the three dimensions. But your mind is free to travel without boundaries and merge with the comic consciousness. Your mind is the great creator and your imagination is its toolbox. You see, everything in life begins with the energy of imagination. Thoughts are real and they can manifest themselves into the physical world. So train your mind to only have positive thoughts and you will attract positivity into your life. If you can see it, you can be it. Visualize the components that you want in your life and imbue those thoughts with love. And they will become your reality. Conversely, if your mind strays to negative thoughts and doubts, you will only bring that energy to you. Be positive and loving. Imagination is creativity. Express yourself and let your imagination assist you in letting go of any creative blocks and allow your dreams to come true. Remember, you're not doing this for other people. It is your soul opening up and singing its own unique song. This is a long range lesson to be learned. Okay, so it can relate to this situation, to the um, to these previous lessons here, or it can be an ultimate life lesson of which these are just a very small part of. And 
this one is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Oh, I'll put it here. Sorry. You can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in your path has free will and you have no control over that. But what you do have control over is how you react to the manifestations of others' free will. You have control over that. Holding on to that negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love which will attract all good things into your life. So, um, you need to practice forgiveness. This is something you will be facing. Now, advice. Lead by example. If you are a spiritual seeker, then this card is asking you to practice what you preach. I'll move it here. You can be well read on the practice of mindfulness, but if you don't walk your talk, then it means nothing. Be aware that what you think must also be what you project to others. You must be in complete alignment with your spiritual being and the connection to source energy. Be the person you want others to be and never let a moment go by without taking advantage of it. When you show others kindness and compassion, this energy is attracted back into your own life. Then that creates a ripple effect that influences people even beyond your own sphere. As you contemplate on this card here, think of yourself as a lighthouse and the responsibility that comes with guiding others to the energy of love instead of fear. Remember, if you believe a certain way but create a different energy with your thoughts, your words, and your actions, then you are not in alignment. The last message, they want you, or rather they would like to remind you that like attracts like. The law of attraction tells you that whatever energy you focus your awareness on, that is the energy you will manifest. You are the creator of your reality. It may seem like straightforward advice, but life on this earth plane is filled with fear in its many guises. The day-to-day -day distractions that prevent you from focusing on love and compassion can lead you down a road of anxiety, tension, and stress. If you want love and joy in your life, you must expect love and joy in your life. If you were to live by this basic truth, you would learn to be mindful of your daily life choices and their consequences. In this physical dimension, it's easy to give in to fear and anxiety, but you must realize that it will be those energies that you attract to yourself. 
you must make a conscious effort to turn the fear-based enemy eh, eh, enemies <laughs> the, the fear-based energies that you are creating with your mind into thoughts of compassion forgiveness understanding mercy tolerance and service no one no one can ever escape this law for it rules supreme like any um, any regime this is going to take practice um, the fact that this card has appeared for you um, is telling you to be on the lookout for an event that may create a lot of stress um, what they want is for you to consciously acknowledge it and focus on solutions that uh, that will turn that energy into a positive outcome yeah so that is what I have for you and um, I hope that this um, these messages help you um, bringing these lessons into your awareness this you know is um, is coming up and I feel like this could be connected with this message the forgiveness card um, so you may want to go back and, and re-listen to that message and um, yeah so I, I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing and uh, also I would like to say thank you to those who have um, sent in a donation to the channel it is greatly appreciated I wish you all the best in 2021 pay attention to these they will help you with this um, this obstacle or this challenge that is coming your way okay many blessings to you